This short video will help you identify the signs and symptoms of surgical wound infection after general surgery. At the beginning of your operation, an incision is a cut made to the skin by the surgeon. It is also called a surgical wound. Your surgeon used either stitches, staples, tissue glue or tape strips to help the skin edges to come together and heal. The skin edges usually form a seal within a day or two after the operation. The time it takes for your surgical wound to heal varies from person to person and from operation to operation. A dressing is a sterile pad applied to the wound to promote healing and to protect the wound from infection. It is important that you follow your healthcare provider's instructions for the removal of your dressing and cleaning of your surgical wound. Removing your old dressing. Step 1. Wash your hands with soap and water for 15 to 30 seconds or apply 60% alcohol-based hand gel before drying them with a paper towel. Clean hands are the best protection to avoid spreading infection. Step 2. Put on a pair of medical gloves if you have them at home. The gloves do not need to be sterile. If you do not have a pair of gloves, use your clean hands to remove the old dressing. Step 3. Loosen the side of the dressing. After loosening all the sides of the dressing, remove the old dressing. Place the old dressing and the used gloves in a plastic bag and discard. Do not touch the healing wound with your fingers. Step 4. Wash your hands again with soap and water for another 15 to 30 seconds or reapply 60% alcohol-based hand gel. If the wound is healing, you don't need to put a dressing on it, but you may like to have a dressing to cover the surgical wound for protection, especially if your clothing rubs against it. Do not remove the tape strips from the surgical wound unless your healthcare provider tells you to. Do not use force to tear off the dressing if it sticks to the skin, as this may cause bleeding and delay healing. Instead, moisten it with water before removing the dressing. Do not scrub or rub the surgical wound. Do not put any soap, shower gel, body lotion, talcum powder or other bathing products directly onto your healing wound, as this will cause discomfort and may also cause an infection. Clean your surgical wound only if your healthcare provider says you should. Your healthcare provider may only want you to remove and change your dressing. Call your primary care doctor if you notice the following changes around the surgical wound. The edges of your surgical wound are pulling apart, bleeding around your surgical wound area, redness that extends around your surgical wound, increased skin warmth around your surgical wound, swelling around your surgical wound, an unpleasant smell coming from your surgical wound, a white, yellow or green discharge coming from your surgical wound, increasing or unusual pain. It is normal to see mild redness or swelling around the incision edges or a clear or pink discharge as your surgical wound starts to heal. However, you need to call your primary care doctor if there is a yellow or green discharge, a foul smell coming from your surgical wound, the surgical wound area is warm to touch, redness surrounding the surgical wound area, fever increasing or unusual pain, excessive bleeding or swelling from the surgical wound area. Also, seek medical attention right away if you have any of the following symptoms. Vomiting or diarrhoea, feeling faint or dizzy when you stand up, temperature of 38.5 degrees Celsius or higher.